County Sheriff's deputies are investigating another possible illegal dumping case. This one was caught on camera. As News 13's Kayla Tucker shows us, a crew from the local restoration company dumped the debris alongside a neighborhood road. This is video of a crew from Restore One Restoration and Construction dumping a load of debris Thursday afternoon. The incident happened near Magnolia Bay Club on the right of way of Magnolia Beach Boulevard, just 25 yards from a no dumping sign. Do you want to admit that? It's not even coming from this neighborhood. You're bringing it from somewhere else. The viewer who sent WMBB the video says Restore One told him FEMA gave them permission to dump their debris in that spot and they're within their rights. But FEMA says they don't give permits of that kind. We called Restore One to get their side of the story, but they declined to comment. So is this illegal? According to Bay County Public Works Director, yes. Debris that should be taken out to the right of way is from residential houses. What you would expect to see is, is landscaping, trees, of course. If their privacy fence was blown down, you'd expect to see stuff like that. What we don't want to see in the right of way is commercial dumping. Bryant says this type of act makes the cleanup process last longer and is costing the county money. FEMA will not reimburse for commercial debris along the right of way, so that's something the cities and the counties will have to pay for. Ultimately, the taxpayers will have to pay for. That's why we're encouraging all the commercial locations to get that where it should go to the landfills. Just this week, county officials began alerting the community about the issue. Getting the word out to the public and letting them know that this, this is not appropriate behavior. You'll see a lot of press releases. You'll see a lot of signs going up. The Restore One pile of debris was still sitting on Magnolia Beach Roadway Friday, waiting to be picked up. The Bay County Sheriff's Office has the video and is investigating the incident. In Bay County, Kayla Tucker, News 13.